Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be discussing blue buttons. If you would like to learn more facts about different types of animals, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So we may have goofed with this one a little. We originally thought these amazing creatures had been suggested by YouTube users Paige Davies, Ethan Wen, and Ziegert Jan Corey, but we're only just now realizing that they had all specifically requested blue bottles, and that we're illiterate. But we've already done the research on blue buttons, and there's actually already technically an episode on blue bottles, so at least we have our bases covered. If you're looking for blue buttons, which look like this, then you're on the correct video. If you're looking for blue bottles, which look like this, then you want the Portuguese Man of War video, which is linked in the description. If a different organism was intended besides these two, then please let us know in the comments, because apparently some flies and ants are called blue bottles as well? Anyway, the Porpita porpita species is what we'll be discussing today, so let's get right into it. Blue buttons are marine animals that belong to the Cnidaria phylum in the animal kingdom. Although this phylum is also where jellyfish are grouped, and blue buttons seemingly look like round, flat jellies, they are not jellyfish. They are a colony of organisms living together to form a larger whole. The organisms that make up the individual creature that we call blue buttons are from the Hydrozoa class of animals, and form the hydroid colony of the blue button. The body structure of blue buttons is basically in two parts. The hydroid colony, which are the tentacle-looking parts, and the float, which is the round, flattish shape in the middle of the organism. The float is used for the purpose of... well... You're smart. I'm sure you can probably figure that one out for yourself. On the underside of the float, the mouth is located, which also acts as the organ for expelling waste. Typically, the float will appear yellow to brown in color and be about one inch in diameter. The tentacle-like appendages are usually turquoise blue in color, but can vary to purple and yellow hues. They also end in stinging cells called nematocytes. While their sting is not really effective on human skin, it can cause irritation, so it's best to not touch them if discovered washed up on shore. Some sites seem to claim that these little creatures can't sting, but the nematocytes being present are proof that they do. Basically, the function of the nematocyte is to house the nematocyst. When threatened or when attacking prey, the nematocyst is stimulated to be expelled from the nematocyte housing. This expulsion launches the nematocyst into the prey item, and depending on the type of nematocyte possessed, may allow for the injection of venom, such as in the case of the Portuguese man of war. It's possible that the nematocysts of the blue buttons may not be large enough to always pierce human skin like some species of sea anemones, and this could be from where this misinformation originates. But still, as with most wildlife, it's better to look and not touch. Remember the dangers of the puss caterpillar from a few episodes back? How long blue buttons can live seems to be a mystery, but we do know that they possess both male and female reproductive organs. They will simultaneously release both sperm and eggs into the water column for fertilization. It's not uncommon to see large groups of blue buttons congregating together on the surface of the ocean, or even washed up on beach shores. They can be found in tropical and sometimes subtropical oceans, and are carried along by wind and water currents. Common hunting grounds for blue buttons include the Gulf of Mexico, as well as the shores of Australia and many coasts of Asia. The diet of a blue button consists of mostly tiny organisms such as plankton, and they are eaten by other animals like sea slugs. Have you ever seen one of these fascinating animals in the wild? For more facts on blue buttons, please read through the links in the description. If you're interested in blue bottles, otherwise known as the Portuguese Man of War, please follow the link on screen. Thanks again for the suggestion, even though we may have missed the mark on it. Be sure to give a thumbs up for bizarre animals, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.